Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. Ferrari introduced the Daytona SP3 in November 2021 as the third ultra-exclusive model of the Icona series, after the Monza SP1 and SP2 Speedsters. It's based on the LaFerrari but without the hybrid boost as it uses a pure V12 engine borrowed from the 812 Competizione. By having a 6.5 liter displacement, the ICE is actually bigger than the 6.3 liter unit of the LaFerrari. With 829 horsepower on tap, it has an extra 40 prancing horses over the laugh. Speaking of Maranello's horses, the airbrushed Scuderia shield doesn't come as standard as Ferrari charges a cool $14.341. YouTuber and businessman Doug DeMuro dissected the Daytona SP3 and had the opportunity to check out the window sticker as well. The Monroni offers a quick reminder of how expensive new cars can get nowadays, even with only a few options added. Yes, you're looking at a car that had a base price of $2.218,935, on top of which there were $5.000 in delivery and handling fees, plus undisclosed additional costs amounting to $30.800. Of the six optional items added to this car, the racing livery, stripes, was by far the most expensive, at $35.432. That's the equivalent of a shiny new Volkswagen Golf GTI. Mind you, not just a base version of the hot hatch, but the well-equipped SE variant. Join owners and enthusiasts discussing this topic at Ferrari Chat. Com. The special paint job was another $18.561 while the forged wheels were at $8.099 premium. Having the famous horse embroidered onto the headrests was an additional $1.265 while the color stitching set the owner back $759. Add them all up and you end up with an eye-watering $2.333. 192 total price. The window sticker also shows the $3.000 gas guzzler tax for that thirsty V12, which returns an abysmal 12 miles per gallon in the city and 16 miles per gallon on the Higway for a combined 13 miles per gallon. Needless to say, no owner will care about the $4.200 annual costs in fuel mentioned on the Monroni provided these cars will be driven since top-tier Ferraris usually sit in a garage most of the time. Ferrari is making only 599 cars and all of them have been sold out. In fact, the Italian mark handpicks the buyers as demand for these limited-run models always exceeds the production run, even though the cars cost a not-so-small fortune. Shortly after the Daytona SP3 debuted, the company mentioned it already had ideas for five additional models for the Icona series. Although the new hypercar coming next year is expected to eschew the V12 in favor of a smaller hybrid setup, it doesn't mean the Daytona SP3 will go down in history as Ferrari's final 12-cylinder car. A beefier V12 was announced a couple of years ago, and test mules of the 812 replacement wearing a Roma body while making what sounded like V12 music have been spotted repeatedly. Thanks for watching my video. Credits to Motor1.com. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.